Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the starting 11 show. Ipswich Town versus Everton. <sighs> big game. Big game for the Toffees. Uh, must win. I, I think, I think again, it's one of those ones you look at and think, Everton have got to break that duct. You know, we've been unable to secure an away win since December last year when we went to Burnley. So it's a promoted team and we've got to put them to the sword tomorrow for me. So let's get into it in gold, Jordan Pickford. A um, little bit shaky. Well, he only played one game for the in the international break and he was a little bit shaky in that. Um, reports that Thomas Tushel, New England coach, could maybe be looking to drop him from the side. So Jordan Pickford's got to be a lot better in the in the next 18 months really which is good for Everton he's got to be added he's got to be focused and he's got to be he's got to be you know on his game and that's starting this game for me so he starting goal of course uh, back four at right back strange situation no Nathan Patterson still when he played for the U21s 90 minutes a couple of weeks ago um, manager said he's still not ready I mean we'll we'll see We'll see when the squad comes out or the you know the bench whether he's anywhere near it or whether they're just going to wait another week or so. Seamus Coleman's in contention, but I think the manager and I think myself personally will put you know Ashley Young in there at right back. I think for me he is being consistent this season. Listen, I know he's not everyone's favourite, but I just think that he does have a consistency whether it's at right back at left back. I actually think he's a better left back. Because I think he has to concentrate there more. Um, but that consistency is important when you're trying to chain out results. Um, when Nathan Patterson's ready, then does he come into the side? I mean, for me, yes. For this manager, I don't know. Seamus Coleman, has he got that level of consistency? Is he a better right back? Yes. But can we afford a player who plays maybe a couple of games or three games and then is out for a, a week or whatever? That's where we seem to be with James at the moment. So for me, for this game, I think we continue. I say it would continue with Ashley Young, but this time playing right back. A left back, Vitaly Michalenko. Again, he's another one who hasn't enjoyed the best of start of the season with injury injuries and um, not being his best because of that. But because he is our left back, uh, when he's available, he does come back into the side. And I think, for me, he comes into the side and gives us that balance at left back. Centre back, James Tarkowski, of course, who has obviously mentioned that he hasn't been fit this season. Hopefully a couple of weeks off will have really helped them get I mean, who knows whether he's over the injury. Sometimes these injuries can plague players and they just have to go week by week and maybe don't do as much training or whatever. But certainly a couple of weeks um will have helped them on that. So and we got a clean sheet last time. Listen, he was a fault for nearly, you know, costing us that penalty. We cost us a penalty, but luckily, Jordan Pickford got the save. Um, has to be get, has to be better, has to be better. Alongside, and this is an interesting one. This because the manager has mentioned that Jared Brantway is fit, but his his progr his game program, uh, fitness program mightn't be quite there yet, and um. Because Michael Keane played well in the last game, the manager might be tempted to keep Michael Keane in there another week uh, and allow Jared Brantway that week to just, again, another week under his belt of training and not putting too much pressure on him. I don't have those details. I don't have those facts. I don't know where he is. The manager said he's fit. If he's fit, he starts for me. Simple as that. But the manager might be looking at and going, well, if we keep him out another week, it's better because then we can, um, we've can. we got a player then who can play every week then. No issues. He might need another week. But the manager did say he was fit. And he reiterated he was fit in the press conference. He made, wanted to make that point very clear that he was fit. So I'm going to go for Jared Brantwaite. But I'd understand if the manager decides to go with Michael Keane for another week. Because he did play well in the last game. Um, we'll wait and see. But I would go with Jared Brantway. But ultimately, 
it doesn't really matter what I say, and the man, the manager will know his levels. Into midfield, uh, Mangala, who was involved in both of Belgium's games in the last few days, starts for me. Been pretty consistent as an Everton player so far. Um, no frills, just does his job. And I think he's at the right age, got the right experience. The manager really values that and has suddenly become our um, number one centre midfielder in many ways, while all around them is either getting injured or or maybe not the right stage of their career or whatever it is. But he has certainly become the number one, even though he's on loan. Alongside him, well, there's no Tim Irabunum. He is out injured. A fracture to his foot, a stretch factor, stress fracture to his foot, so he can, he's not involved. James Garner's injured, so he's not involved. So it comes down straight down to become between the core and a Jishagana gay. Um, for me, I'm going to put a Jishagana gay in because I think he's better than the core. Okay, you lose maybe a little bit more tack and threat, I lose a little bit of height, but I just think. Just kind of gave a better player. I just kind of game involved in both of Senegal's game. Um, came off the bench in their first game, started the other game, played about 90 minutes combined in both games. So I think fitness wise, no problems there. So I'm going to go for the just kind of game. And against the team that I don't think we're going to have, certainly they're going to have more than the ball than we are. We need a player who can go out and hunt and get that ball. So he starts midfield. The three ahead of him. On the right hand side, going to continue with Jack Harrison. Um, there's simply no proof yet that Lindstrom should be starting games. Maybe if he has, and this is one of those sort of chicken and egg things, maybe he has to play three or four or five games in a row to get to that level. But are we there yet as a team to allow that to happen? I don't know. But I just feel for an away game, it might be better to bring him on late. Um when a team we're playing against may be tired in a little bit. I don't think Jack Harrison's done anything to amazing, by the way, but the, lim- the options over on that side are so limited. I'm going to go with Harrison. On the left, Njai, who obviously did come off injured for Senegal, but came off the bench in their last game for the last 30 minutes. Looks like he's fine. He'll start this game. Probably our biggest threat. Um, you know, scored in the Leicester game. We want him to repeat that. Um and is a, such an important play for us. Just likes to take people. I think he had, in the last game, I think he had something like 10 dribbles. Five of them were successful. That's massive, getting us up the pitch, getting into advanced areas, creating opportunities. He is huge for us. And in the middle, Dwight McNeil, who against Newcastle didn't think had a great game, wasn't in it too much, but obviously has showed as a number 10 that there are different facets of his game that are... Um, really important for us so he likes to play in that pocket on the right hand side so he can get onto his left foot so if we can get him to that area um then he could be huge in this game and up front dominic calvin loon listen there's no question that he starts the games if he's fit he starts the games uh, for us because beto can't even get on the pitch anymore and i think this will be I think the last game for Dom was against like Dan Byrne was very difficult, a different kind of game. I think this one he'll have more joy. I think we need to need to get him get it into into his feet more as well, create more chances for him as well. If we create opportunities for Dom, you know there's more likelihood he'll score goals. He is um, playing off bits and he has been for a very long time. So that's my eleven. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Who would you go for? Would it be completely different? Would you start Brantway? Would you keep Keane? Let me know. Make sure to check out the match preview that uh, Jack and myself did. Jack's last ever match preview. So very emotional scenes. Make sure you check it out. Uh, make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want more great videos, head over to Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description and the QR codes come on the screen now. See you later.